Thermite, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. And today, mods, as you can see, it's been <laughs> it's gonna it's been quite a while since we actually been on the main menu, as you can see. But mods, today what you're looking at is a new world I'm creating right now, specifically for the Texture Pack Tour series. Now it's in creative. Um, we're, prob we're not gonna switch it to peaceful to uh, and then to easy mode or whatever difficulty we're gonna want. And I already customized it. It's basically just a normal flat world with a little more dirt blocks underneath, pretty much. And what we're looking at today, first mods, um, last time we did the city and, um, plastic, I'm pretty sure, was it? Um, let me think, let me think, uh, yeah, it was the city and plastic texture pack, and what we're doing right now is the natural texture pack, and that's the first one of the day, so, oopsie, so as you can see, with regular Minecraft dirt block symbol sign, whatever you want to say, we got the natural looking one, so it gives your world a more natural look, a texture pack based on soft colors and lines, alright, so let's go ahead, so, you're using the trial version, alright? So, of course, we're going to be using a trial version because I don't own every single one. Although, I actually am probably going to be buying a, a, a couple of them soon for future series. Or just to have them plain in general so I can save them. Alright, so there we go. <laughs> Alright, so, um, oh, there's a, oh, I thought, that was, I thought that was a village for some reason. Oh, okay, so as you can see, it's, it's a little more realistic, basically. We have actual cows with horns right there. We got um, some sheep right there, alright, oh, just just look at them, look how adorable that is. We got um, grass, which looks a lot more softer, and we have a round sun, even though it's still technically made out of blocks, alright. So let's check out some of the blocks we have right now. So instead of setting up a whole kind of like, um, thing, which I actually might, um, if I change my mind, we're just gonna do this own natural route style. So right here, we got all of the blocks right there, we got coal, gold, Iron, Lapis, Diamond, Emerald, and Quartz. And I have to say, um, honestly, they look more or less the same, all of them, besides um, besides Quartz and um, Coal. Let me see, do they actually look the same right there? No, they, the texture is a little bit different, but overall, Mars, I mean, come on, Minecraft. Really, they all look the same, but I actually do really, really like the way how it looks. Um, let's see, so let's take a look at some of the ore now, all right? There we go, all right? We got Coal Ore, um, Lapis, we got Diamond, then we have red. Oh, we don't, haven't looked at redstone, have we? Okay. <laughs> we, I could have just told you, boys. It's the exact same thing as all of these, but red. Pretty. That's pretty much what it is. All right. Then we have the diamond. We have redstone ore, iron ore, gold, emerald, and quartz. All right. So the majority of them, um, it does look a little bit different, honestly. It does a little bit. The iron and the gold look exactly the same. The lapis. Looks a little bit different, like it depends on where the placement is and how big they are. But no, over the last day are ore. So I have to say, I really do like the ore, how it's all different. Although the blocks on the other hand, <laughs> you know they're not that different. I have to say, they look fantastic. Alright, so let's see. What other interesting blocks can we look at? Well, let's look at one of the famous blocks of Minecraft, Obsidian. Netherrack, Soulstone, Glowstone, and um... Wait, I, I mean soul sand, huh? Not soul stone, soul st soul sand, glowstone, magma blocks, sea lanterns, a couple of other ones for like different biomes and whatnot. All right, so we got obsidian, which looks very, very cool. It looks like a space kind of world mines. If you built the whole entire like, if you built a whole room made out of this stuff in this texture pack, I probably would be really impressed considering the fact it's space. I would like this probably on my roof because I'm a big fan of space. All right, we've got another rack, um, regular kind of like red dirt in a sense, soul sand. You can see the creepy looking faces, yeesh. I don't know why Soul Taker likes this stuff. Glowstone, which actually does look really cool. It looks like it changes a little bit, but that's because of the way the, the sun's reflecting on it in the game. It just looked like it is glowing. No, 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 it's not. Look at that, Mike. It's kind of like a, a flashing light, like different tones, basically, all right? We got the magma block, which looks really, really cool, especially with the inside all glowing, and it looks like it's actually moving around. Sea Lanterns, wood, root. This looks like it kind of... Mike, if you might if you remove like the lines right there from the edges, or even if not, if you remove these blue like um these triangle pieces off on the sides and just replace it with the same texture, this looks like it would be a diamond block, honestly, if you if you ask me. We've got Prismarine, which looks like it kind of looks like red netherrack in a sense. We've got dark prismarine, which Oh, okay, that's new, Mike. That's new. This kind of reminds me of um oh, sorry. Uh. Oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry, that was disgusting. Um, as you can see, Mods, because if you remember from the original Minecraft, the fact that some blocks like this actually did have, like, the Wither and, um, on the, uh, Red Sandstone and on the, what was the other one? The other one, um, the Regular Sandstone? Well, I know it was Regular Sandstone, but what was the, what was it? 
I can't remember. Was it a skeleton? It was it was some other mob. This kind of reminds me of it, the Dark Prisman, because now we actually do have a Prism uh um we have an elder guard no not an elder, this is just a regular guardian. And we also do have bricks, um Prismarian bricks, which do look more or less the same. But I have to say, by far I like the box right there. I do like this one. Um, the Obsidian is probably one of my favorites, and especially the Dark Prism Rune. I really, really do love that, alright? And the Slime Block, let's just see what that looks like. It's gonna be, yep, more or less the same, pretty much. Just a little more realistic-ish, I suppose you could say. Alright, so, let's check out the Iron Bars, the Mycelium, some Nether Bricks, the End Stone. I think that'd be pretty cool. The Quartz and the Pur, -pur Blocks. Alright, I wanna see what the bars look like. They, um... Kind of look like old timey jail cells, um, bars, which actually could be pretty cool for some, um, some roleplays. I can't really get rid of it. Huh? Alright, we got mycelium, which looks like purple, looks like disease dirt. Ugh. Like bacterial over there. We got some nether bricks and some red br nether bricks, which I actually do like the way how this looks with the, like, a neon kind of tone. It does look really, really good. The end stone looks a little bit different. The, the color of it has changed from, like, a, a tan to, like, a clear white. Like on um, like the actual quartz. Oh, I do love this quartz. I like the way how the quartz has like a really really good set of patterns right here. Um, purple block. All right, there we go. Let me just um get rid of that. And we have the other one. They more or less look like like polished versions of the regular Minecraft one, but no, no nevertheless they look very very nice. All right, so here we go. Uh, we're gonna look at all the doors. All right, just making sure I didn't miss any. All right, so we've got door number one. <laughs> like, I'm um, like game show. Door number one is the oak door, which actually does look really nice. I do like the way. I mean, it's uh, no, it's more of a plain, normal door, like probably in a shack. I guess you would have this. Um, but more or less, it looks very nice. The iron door looks like, um, looks like maybe you can use this as a lab experiment. Pretend there's glass right here, if you want. Alright, spruce door, which looks like a giant chocolate bar. <laughs> Alright, I actually do like this one. Birch door, alright, very- This looks like a normal house door, at least in America. Um, you got, um, a nice birch, um, oh wait, no, this is jungle- jungle wood door. Alright, then you got acacia, which looks like, um, it looks like- Wait, um, I know in on this version of mine, it's like the newer version of Minecraft, they have the trap doors as well. But, um, Right there. Oh, I actually do like the. Oh, that looks like it's rusted. Okay, that's quite good detail, though. I don't know why. But, um, maybe for like a sewer, perhaps? Um, I do like this one, though. I do like the, the regular wooden one, especially with like the plus sign, um, like design. But this one, it looks like, um, the half trap door. If you were to like somehow get it like this, see? If you were able to like flip it to the other side, it does look like that. Sort of like a barn, I think that has. Ooh, my Darko. I am a big fan of this one. This looks very, very fancy, alright? So, that's all the blocks in this one. Now, let's look at the decorations, alright? Let's take a look at some of the mob heads. Alright, we got a skeleton. Okay, very creepy. Um, with a skeleton, uh, as usual. Very, pretty much the exact same. A little bit different, especially the color. We got a zombie. We got a creeper head, which um, looks a little bit the same, but with a little less um, spotty. And the end- Oh! <laughs> Okay, it looks like it's eating his brain. Ugh. Okay, uh, let's move that. He looks absolutely terrifying, if you ask me, Mars. He looks absolutely terrifying. Yeesh. I would not like to look at this guy in the back of Dark Alley. All right, so we got the pumpkin right there, the normal pumpkin. Looks very nice. A little bit more mean than usual, though. All right, let's put it on sideways like this. And then the dragon head right there. Wow, Mars. What do you think is, uh, I think the dragon's more terrifying. Look at the eyes. Oh, man. This looks like you can, like, you get hypnotized with that stuff. Yeesh. Alright, let's see. What else can we look at? What else could we look at? Um, the, um, nope. They all look pretty much the same, actually, from the way that they, um, describe. Alright. Let's look at the, let's look at some of the, like, um, carts and whatnot. The elytra, the saddle, well, maybe the saddle, the boats. Alright, let's see. The TNT would be, I think, would be pretty cool to look at. Alright, and let's see. What else? Oh, actually, you know what? Let's, um, let's look at this really quick. I want to look at the minecart. Okay, that actually looks really cool. It looks like an industrial minecart. I have to say, I really do like the design of this. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's just put that back there. How does the elytra look? It looks like... Doesn't it kind of look like fly wings, mites? Doesn't it look like a fly's wings? I don't know about you, but that's, um, <laughs> that's kind of how I, I, um, I see it pretty much. Like, the way how the material looks. Alright, we got a boat right there. Nice, standard, normal boat. Kind of looks the same, just a regular Minecraft in TNT. Oh, okay, that, it looks a little bit more different. It looks like it's got 
Actually, no, I don't think it's gold more. I think it's the exact same amount. It looks like old Western style TNT, especially with the way how it's like like style with like um, like the, it's a little glossy, like actual like dynamites if they were polished, like in the cartoons. But nevertheless, it looks really nice. All right, let's look at the way. So redstone looks like normal redstone, a little more bulbous perhaps, like sh like to give it more shape. And uh, that looks like blood. Yep, let's get rid of that. <laughs> okay, let's see. So we go on. Coal, charcoal, diamond, emerald, iron, gold, nether quartz, brick, and nether brick. Alright, so here's the regular piece of coal. Charcoal does look a little bit different. It looks like it's kind of like two pieces or it's been cracked and, or fractured. Diamond looks more or less the same, but it does look really, really nice. Especially how... This looks like a realistic diamond and the emerald looks purely realistic as usual too. The, I feel like if this was to be truly realistic, the um all the bricks and the um ingots would have to be a little more dull. Like the the brick is pretty dull, and the nether brick's pretty dull. These two, on the other hand, are metal, so I'll give it a pass, I suppose. The quartz actually does look like a real chunk of quartz, but I don't think it would be that perfect. But eh, nonetheless, it looks really, really great. So the glowstone, the sugar, a lot of the food, and the dyes. The dyes. Oh, lapis. <laughs> you look a. Uh, not as pixelated as before. <laughs> ah, man. The crystal... Ooh, the shard looks like... um, The crystal looks really cool, too. It, look, it reminds me of... It's like a combination of diamond and emerald combined. Like the color of diamond with the shape of the emerald. The shard looks really nice, too. The slime ball. All right. All very good. So let's look at some of the food. Ooh, let's take a look at the cake. And, of course, the pumpkin pie. Why not? Uh, The fish. Oh, man. Oh, look at that puff of... Look at the puff of fish mice. Oh, man. That's a happy fellow. We're not going to be happy with it. The coarse fruit looks very exotic, especially since it comes from a different um, a different dimension, obviously. Universe, timeline, uh, yeah, uh, man, that's why I hate the terminology nowadays. The armor, on the other hand, looks really good. So let's look at the cake. Very, very nice. Got lots of cherries, a lot of cherries, and pumpkin pie. Oh, let me just set it to... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take a look at the moon. Let's wait for it to get dark a little bit. Oh, how the heck did you guys get in there? <laughs> Just a regular, just a, oh man, the pig looks really, really tired if you ask me. The sheep looks like he's having a blast. <laughs> Alright, let's see, so what's next? The armor, of course, alright, so you know what, let's get some armor stands really quickly. Let's actually look at the way the armor stand looks, alright, so armor stand, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. Actually, it's put seven for the elytra as well, alright, so elytra, there you go. Right. Oh, alright, so, it, oop, oopsie, did not mean to do that whatsoever. Alright, so let me just go back, get this. Alright, now we saw the moon. It does look very small, um, just like it should in real life. It looks really, really nice. Let's take a look at all of the armor. Alright. There we go, so we got natural leather armor. The helmet looks a little bit small around the edges. Or is that the way how it always looks? Oh. Um, no, it actually does look a little bit smaller, I I forget. The the armor box this looks like actual leather too. I mean a little less like it looks like blurry leather if you ask me. But not just me. Alright, let's see. So next we have chainmail and we have iron. There we go. So let's look at the way the chainmail looks. Chainmail looks very good. A little more darker and not as much like holes as you can see like in the regular Minecraft. The armor the iron looks very protective. They all look very protective, especially the iron. Looks really, really good on defense-wise. The gold looks very, very nice. I have to say, it looks especially shiny. And nos, and last but not <laughs> nos, <laughs> I don't know what that means. If that's even a real word. Last but not least, the diamond armor. There we go, Mons, as you can see. Wow, these three look really, really nice. Even though they pretty much look the same, just with different colors. But, um, it looks very nice nonetheless. I especially like the chainmail and the iron. The diamond looks very, very cool. The gold looks very, very nice. And the leather, oop, didn't know me to do that. <laughs> Alright, let me just put that. And I keep putting on the helmet even though I don't feel like it. There we go. And it looks like real cloth, honestly, if you ask me. It looks like realistic cloth. The swords all look very, very nice. And the pickaxes actually look like, um, realistic pickaxes with the edges. Not, um, at all, like, um, blockish. Like, well, less blockish. The swords look very nice, especially with the edges, like it's one of those... I forgot what the sword is called, Might. I know it's a special type of sword used for fighting, where, you, where like um, on the side of a sword they would extend like into a V-shape. And that's used to catch the other opponent's sword. It is so good, alright? So let's see, it is really, really good um, for fighting. There we go, so let's take a look at the other things. I see the um, <laughs> totem looks like a um, totem of a dying looks like a little mini person right there. The potions all look like natural bottles right there. All pretty much the same. Alright. 
Let's see. Oh, all right. So we're going to get into some of the nitty gritty now. Some of the nitty gritty. So let's look at the fire. More or less the same fire, but a little bit different. The clock looks amazing. The shears look like pure um, scissors, actually, if you ask me. All right, so we've got a chest and a chest crafting table. And we have a furnace. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other ones as well. Brewing stand, enchantment table, beacon. And we also do have a bed. We need to take the bed and ball of frames. Jukebox, anvil, and cauldron. Let's see anything else? We got some of the spawn eggs right there as well. But I don't want to show you guys everything. Otherwise, <laughs> what would be the point of playing it? Unless you just want to play it. We got the nether star, which looks like a paper... Looks like a paper mache throwing star. The fireworks look amazing, though. And the discs actually look um really, really, like, circular, too. They look very circular. All right, so we got the bed. Um, actually, I'll move it up right there. The end portal frame, jukebox, anvil, and cauldron. The cauldron looks really, really circularified. <laughs> it looks very circularified if you look in uh, in the mini image down there when you hold it. But as you can see, Mike, it's as usual, very, very blocky. All right, the final ones. We're gonna take a, all, a look at the lava. Very nice. That looks like pure lava. Let me just check. Yep, that's very lava. And I'm hot. And I'm hot. Whew. I'm not a big fan of the cold mice. I'm the cold. <laughs> a big fan of the, the hot mice. Trust me, I'm not a big fan of the hot. All right. And we have water right there. Very nice. You know what? I actually just put it... Ooh, it actually does look different. It does look a little bit darker if you ask me. I'll just put it right there to the side. And then lava right next to it. There we go. Hmm. All right. That's a little bit new. But nonetheless, um, that is actually a little bit of a, a really cool minor detail right there. But now, mates, I think it's about time we go into the next section pack. So, yep, I will see you guys all in a second. Hello, mates. We are back once again, back into the flat world. And it's actually it's a different one. So, yeah, unfortunately, I might not be able to keep the... the I was hoping to actually make the texture pack total world, but... Honestly, I would have to keep, like, resetting it. It wouldn't be as fun and, like, exciting and waiting for, like, surprises while just seeing everything uh, flat out onto the actual ground and surface. So, we're just gonna keep restarting at, like, new flat worlds every, uh, every pretty much time. So, hopefully, you all can understand why um, the background keeps on changing every single time. But now, here we are, into the fantasy text pack, alright? So, let's actually look in the inside. Alright, so it's not, like, leather armor anymore, so you won't get confused. All right, so let's see. Ooh, all right. Just oh, the creeper. That was what it was, mates. Because remember what I said before about the um elder god um the I would say elder guardian um the guardian. See, look, you got well. That's supposed to be the weather, even though it's just three holes. But that one's the creeper. Okay, all right. So that's what it was. But now let's see. So block of coal. We're gonna get all the blocks as usual. So block of coal, block of gold, iron, lapis. Um, diamond, emerald, and quartz. There we are. And we cannot forget, of course, about our good old friend, redstone. There we are. And now we're going to get all of the ores really quick. All right. There we go. Nether quartz ore, coal ore, lapis ore, diamond ore, um, redstone all the way over here. Then we got emerald, gold, and iron. And all right. So I have to say, I am pretty impressed. Although the, this side, yeah, I was about to say, Mites, honestly, I thought every single one was going to be the same <laughs> again. But as you can see, the gold and iron do look pretty much the same, which makes sense because they are ingots. But, Mites, as you can see, the lapis looks very, very circular. The diamonds are actually, well, diamond shape, which is actually a really cool detail in my favor. And the emeralds are very emeralds. Contrary to popular belief and the game, emeralds are actually not shaped like, um, aren't really shaped like, uh, diamonds. They're actually more of a squarish shape, ironically. You'd think I would put that in the game. Although, in certain versions of the game, I'm pretty sure there is, um, a version of that. But, um, and different textures. But, uh, nonetheless, let's get back to topic. All right, so we got the normal plain quartz block and the redstone looks like um also kind of a diamond like um, a diamond shape but not quite diamond like this all right does it not there's a lot of ways to say diamond or shape diamond anyway all right so the ores look very very nice as well these two look exactly well the majority of them do look exactly the same a little bit different um different like the coal looks like it's um a little bit different right there like from the bulbous shape the diamonds look like the crystals the quartz look like they're actual, like, stuck in there, like, lodged in there. And the redstone, that looks like a blood pool, if you ask me. Whoa! Okay, yep, I'm spilling all over it. That's just great. It looks like a bowl of cherries, if you ask me, more. It looks like a stone bowl of cherries leaking out. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What else? So, obsidian, netherrack, so sand. Let's look at some of the different biomes, blocks. Alright, so obsidian. That looks like, that looks like it would actually be a different version of coal, if you ask me. 
Um, Netherrack, um, more or less the same, kind of like red surface of the, of, of, I was about to say Mercury, <laughs> of Mars, pretty much, right there. Got Soul Sand, very creepy as usual. Yeah. Glowstone, which actually looks like a lamp, if you ask me. Magma Block, ooh, that looks like it would spill out any moment now, Mars. That looks like the surface of Volcano about to split open. Sea Lantern looks very, very fancy. Prismarine, Dark Prismarine. Um, the Prismarine Bricks, alright, and of course the Slime Block, which actually looks really cool, because it's blue, and I have to say, I very, very much like this. But, it won't ever beat the original, um, the original one, I have to say, I am a big fan of the blue Slime Block. Alright, can you imagine that, Mike? It's multicolored slime, I bet there's a mod or some pack out there that, that probably made it. Alright, so now let's look at all of the doors, alright, so next we have Oak Door, Iron Door, Spruce Door, Birch, Jungle, Acacia, and Dark Oak. Alright, so let's take a look at it one by one. This looks like, a, some of these look like, um, old, well, this is fantasy, so I'm guessing it would be, like, in the, the kings and the queens and whatnot. So it does look like, um, jail cells or royal doors, doors, kind of, in a, if you guys catch up with they look like they would be quarters of knights, possibly. Um, I can't really exactly say what some, well, this looks like it would be a jail cell, or this one possibly because of, like, the little lines in the middle. Um, for talking of the prisoners, but other than that, it looks not that bad. It doesn't look bad at all. So, all right, so let's take a look at the wooden trap door, the iron one. I actually do like the way how the iron one does look. Uh, the door looks very nice, don't get me wrong, but this looks like it would be silver in a sense. It looks like it'd be made out of silver, but it is iron in fact. It's probably just polished, and the wooden one does look very nice compared to it, although I do favor um, the iron door, honestly. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the heads right there again. Alright, so now we've got the skeleton, with a skeleton, zombie head, creeper, and the dragon right there. And oh man, the dragon looks very, very mean in every single one, doesn't it, my? Doesn't it? Oh, right there. Alright, the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. Alright, so a couple tidbits. Some of these do look like they were actually died, like, as knights, which is a pretty cool design to do. The creeper, um, while it does have some, key, uh, like, some squares um, around the head, more or less the same as a normal creeper. Right there, Minecraft signature mob, if you ask me. Dragon, have to say I love it. It looks like an armored dragon. I bet the whole ender dragon would be like an armored body, perhaps. I have to say I very much like it, especially with the blue in the middle and the eyes. Very, very terrifying. Very, very nice detail. The jack o lantern, uh, well, the um the pumpkin. I have to say I really like the way how it's like really, really etched out, like if you were actually like cutting it, like if you renew it. And the way the fire texture in the inside acts like actual fire. That is just mwah. That is just perfect. Magnificent, if you ask me. Alright, so the majority of the wall and the glass. Oh, the glass looks a little bit different. Alright, so let's take a look at some of these. Alright, well. I'm gonna see. Hey! <coughs> uh, excuse me, Mike. Soon time. Man, I hope I'm not coming down with something. Alright, let's take a look at the glass and the glass pane real quick. Alright, so it does look like, um. Kind of looks like Egyptian glass, if you ask me. Like the way how they kind of, um fortified it around the edges with like gold and certain metals i'd say that is a nice design touch although i think i guess it kind of goes with the fantasy especially with the old like golden like um the golden metal edged uh, likeness of it um i'm not exactly sure this might be gold this might just be yellow metal who knows i'm not exactly sure I'm not that great at history um sometimes i'm great in i'm great in most eras but Egypt is um, not one of my strong suits, if you ask me. <laughs> All I know is there's pyramids, uh, pyramids and aliens and, and, and stuff like that. Alright, so rails. We got the boat. Alright, wait, did I miss anything? Um, no, I think that was about it. I think that was about it. Alright, so the boats, the TNT. Um, oh, I want to see the hopper and the redstone comparator. Um, and a repeater. Some of these do look very, very nice. Alright, so let's check out the minecart really quickly. Okay, just a, a stain, a plain old minecart, if you ask me. It's black with some gold edged, um, gold edges. But uh, none of the, nonetheless, it actually does look very, very nice, even though it looks a little plain. The boat looks like a normal boat right there. The TNT looks very cool, if you ask me. This looks like, in, like some sort of industrialized TNT or cartoonish, because the way the leathers are. The hopper looks very, very nice, especially with the way how it looks gold edged and the inside of it. Got the repeater and the comparator, which look just absolutely crazy. A lot of this looks like it's from like the industrialization period of life, like the industrial revolution and whatnot. Like steampunk, like a steampunkish. Although this is fancy, not a steampunk. 
all right so now let's take a look at some of the um general famous um ores and whatnot so we've got coal which looks like a giant chunk of um of like meteorite perhaps possibly maybe this is it looks like gra a giant chunk of graphite i don't know it just doesn't give me that coal vibe this um looks like an eraser <laughs> i don't know what this is the diamond looks very nice mods as you remember right there the diamond looks like a pure diamond right there the emerald while not exactly blocky like um the block it does actually really it doesn't i don't get it mods it's more it's more diamond triangular shaped than Minecraft regular. And this tax pack, it looks like an oval. Come on, mites, come on, Minecraft. Get get it right. Get the facts right. Nonetheless, it does look very, very shiny and very, very nice. The ingots and the bricks. Well, the ingots actually do look a little bit different. The nether quartz look like a pure crystal right there, like a quartz crystal, as they're usually called. And the bricks look a little more solid than the actual ingots, which is a nice touch as well. Alright, so let's see. Shoko shell does look very very nice. I actually do like the way that looks nuggets look like actual nuggets like they used to fish out of the river I think that's how they did it the blaze rod the slime ball the slime ball looks really really crazy man I need to check out the slime block. Where's the slime block again? Um, did I already oh it was the boot it was blue although the slime ball on the other hand looks a little bit more darker if you ask me Just a teensy bit, but nonetheless, I do love it. Oh, it fell down <laughs> All right, let's see. So what next the food the apples look amazing, especially the enchanted golden apple The pumpkin pie looks like an actual t um, pie with a tin with a slice cut out. Let's look at the cake really really quick There we go. That's the cake. It looks more or less like the same one as before if you ask me just not as many cherries in the middle All right, so that looks like everything on the f oh the <laughs> the the puffer fish looks happy as usual Um, although a little more surprised getting more surprised by each pack Um, the raw rabbit looks that's, uh, that's, uh, that's something. I don't know what that is, but that does not look like any rabbit I saw. The poisonous potato, yeah, that looks very poisonous. The potato and the baked potato looks actually pretty, pretty good if you ask me. Now on to the favorite part, my, well, my favorite part at least, the armor. All right, so let's get everything. Oh, wait, we didn't check out the elytra, didn't we, might? Man, how could, how could I have possibly forgotten the elytra? Oh man, this looks even more like fly material moist. This looks like, like, and by fly, I mean like fly in the sense of the bug, not actually flying. This looks even more flimsy. This looks like glass or plastic if you ask me. I mean, look at it. <laughs> man, just flimsy, these elytras. Yeesh. At least compared to regular. Alright, let's see. So now the armor, alright. There, oh, didn't mean to, I always put on the helmet by accident, alright. There we go. I actually do like, um, wait, where's the moon? Alright, very nice looking moon. I didn't really look at the sun, did I? I didn't really look at the sun. How did the sun look? Uh, yep, circle and circle as usual, alright. So right here we have actually, um, I actually do quite like this one. I especially like the way how it has like a green, probably not emerald, but like a mini. It's like a little tease to emerald armor a lot of people have been wanting. Is that like the closer we're going to get in this texture pack? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just a design choice. I kind of like it though. Alright, then we go for chainmail. I especially like the way how they add like different colors, probably for like different symbols. If you're a commander, a chief, um, um, like a leader, a supporter, a guard, um, who knows? It might be different, it might be not. But I have to say, I love the way the middle looks like that, like in the in the helmet in the chest, like a, an embedded gem in a way. Alright, because this looks like it's emerald. This looks like it's lapis with some gold. And this looks like gold with diamond, if you ask me. <laughs> Man, oh wow, that that iron armor is really, really shiny. Wow, whoever polished this um and cleaned it up did a great, great job. All right, then right here we got the golden armor, which looks like it's been embedded with redstone. <laughs> Quite a kind of a cool um color, like um coloration combination, red and gold, very nice. All right, and we also do have diamond right there. Looks like amethyst, even though it's not an actual game, um, a game in item or item in gem. It does look very nice. It does look. It. I would change this to blue, maybe to um, maybe to actual like diamond too, possibly. But nonetheless, it does look very, very fancy. All right, now let's look at all of the swords. We cannot forget about all the swords. And whoa, whoa, whoa! I want to look at that flint steel right there. <laughs> look at this. It's like an old timey flint steel. Whoa! All right, the fire looks. A little bit off on the top, uh, but it looks very, very um wavy. I'll give you that much. <laughs> all right, let's look at the swords. All right, they look pretty bulky, like um, kind of like um, like um, the swords of like um the olden, not well, not the olden days. How would you say? 
Um, like when you were younger and you always want to buy like a foam sword and they were really, really fat. <laughs> this looks like it. It wouldn't give you, this doesn't look like it would give you much reach, but if you were to stab someone, it looks like it would give you a lot of penetration. Yeah. Don't even want to think about that. Sounds like it hurts a lot. All right. So let's see. The clock right there looks actually pretty cool if you ask me. I actually do the way, I actually do like the way how a lot of the clocks look very circular, like even more than usual. It looks very, very nice. All right. Ooh, I love this, Mars. I have to say, I love this. Blaze power, bl power, <laughs> blaze power powder. It looks like um, it looks like um, the blaze. This is how they make Mars when a blaze eats blaze powder. They gain blaze power. That's how it works. There we go. I solved the riddle, and I'm wearing the helmet, of course. <laughs> All right. I actually do like this though. I wish the fire was blue, honestly, just like um, just like the slime in a slime ball. Um, which is a little weird considering this is blue and the fire is um, orange, but um, nonetheless, it does look very, very nice. I especially like this. This is probably my favorite item so far. Rabbit's foot. Um, <laughs> it looks like furry and everything. The glistening melon. Um, the edges look a little bit white, which makes sense probably why it's glistening. And finally, Moist, the last few items of the video. There we go. We got the chest right there. The, um, ooh, the ender chest. I have to say, I actually like it. It's really, it's kind of like a pukish green tint, if you ask me, honestly. Um, the crafting table right there. Very, very nice. He's got, like, a, a mini, that looks like a scythe more than a sword, if you ask me. And, uh, like, a, is that a hammer or an axe? I think that's a hammer. Like, uh, probably a one-way hammer. We've got the furnace, old-timey looking furnace, a brewing stand, enchantment table. The beacon looks amazing, especially, like, the, the glass that we saw earlier. Um, it does look very, very nice. Alright, so we got, um, let's get the couple of last items, the bed, end portal frame, jukebox, anvil, and of course some of the other miscellaneous right there. Um, the nether star looks very, very cool if you ask me, and the, the oh wow, the discs are like old gramophones, I, I think that's what it's called, at least I'm thinking of one of them, how it kind of looks like that funnel, the gramophone, nonetheless it looks very, very cool if you ask me, I wish it would put down the whole thing, that would be a quite good detail. All right. Ooh, I like this. It's like a like a knightly shield emblem on the bed. That looks very cool. If I didn't have um re elder blue sheets, I would probably actually buy this in real life. All right. So there we go. And um end portal frame looks really nice. Same symbol again, if you ask me. It looks very much alike. They're pretty much the. I think this one's a little longer around the sides, but other than that, it looks very much the same. I have to say, I quite like it. There we go. A dusty old anvil, <laughs> and it's not even used yet. We got lava. We got the cauldron, and we have the water. The water in the cauldrons always looks so much darker than regular water. Is that because... Maybe that's because of um, how it's darker in the sunlight? Um, I don't think that's how it works, though. I really have no idea. But um, there you go, mice. There are two texture packs once again. We had the um, the natural texture pack, and now we have done the fantasy texture pack. But yes, mice, hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Oh, dear, and it's raining. <laughs> hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Please give a like and subscribe. And yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys.